going on everybody um for real, i'm gonna try and do a video for y'all before the uh before the rain gets uh gets here on uh how to read these uh stakes um before uh you even start any kind of earthwork generally you'll have uh grade stakes set out for uh what you are trying to build uh this one originally they didn't even have the cuts or fills respectively for uh for these stations but uh finally got my the surveyors to uh get their shit together and give me some uh cuts for these stakes um there's going to be a little bit involved with this but i'm going to explain it as best i can uh this stake right here is an offset stake which uh the five right here is a five foot offset os is offset the station number is 28 plus zero zero and what that is it's a reference point for you to go to on your plans and see exactly the uh detail and profile of this particular station and from this point right here at this stake i've got a cut of 1054 now going back to this station you go back to your plans and look up this station number and when i looked at it for all these stakes pretty much these were all slope stakes these are all going to be cut slopes and they're all going to be a three to one now what that three to one means is for every foot of drop it's going to have a run of three feet so you're going to go down a foot and out three feet now if we were to take this cut 10 54 10 feet and 5400 straight down that would be where our grade is but since we are carrying it out at three to one first thing you'll do is you'll pull your offset your five foot which is this stake right here and that will be your top of slope now again since they didn't write the rest of the information on there i looked at my profile and the cut sheet and it told me that these this slope in particular is a three to one so i transferred my information from that stake over to here and went ahead and transferred the information so it's a little bit easier to read if someone else is grade checking now i'm usually grade checking this all myself and operating the dozer and uh, in between the scrape rounds i do what i can to get out here and make sure everything's cut right so now back to this a cut of 1054 at three to one to the toe now the toe meaning the toe of the slope this right here is your top normally i'd have a hub and feather slammed in the ground right there but seeing as i don't have any i'm just using the bottom of my stake right there where my stake meets the ground as my reference point so seeing as i don't want to have to just shoot one foot down every time i'm going to go ahead and uh add some uh add some fractions to this i'm going to pull from this stake out 12 feet so i can shoot four feet and then of course you would just reduce that down to three to one three being your common denominator so what i did i was able to pull my stake or pull my measurement at 12 feet and drop a rock and at this point right here is where i would set my engineer's ruler and these are the tools that i use to check your grade Let's see if i can get this folded out for y'all right quick it's a six foot ruler I apologize for him trying to do this one-handed but what I would do is I would fold this out to four feet put my ruler right here and with my eye level again my apologies people And with my eye level, 
there's a level inside this uh, this tool right here you put the stake you put the ruler right here you'd line your level up on four feet and if your grade is right your four foot lineup would be shooting right where the ground meets that front stake. And at that point, you would know that you have a three to one slope. And with this, this four foot height, this four foot uh, elevation you're gonna shoot for this next stake, since you're dropping, you're going down four feet, of, you're going down in a cut of four feet, you can just take that four feet off of that stake right there and transfer it down. So now, the next time we'll check, check the grade, I will pull out, I could go ahead and pull out 12 feet and shoot four again. And the next one, I would be shooting my four foot at that elevation right there. And with that four foot down, I now have at this station right here, a cut of 654 at 3 to 1 to the toe. So with that being said, I know there's probably a lot more I probably didn't, uh, didn't cover, but hopefully I did. Um, feel free to add it to my comment section on my, uh, on this, uh, on my channel. And uh, hopefully all, uh, hopefully all learned a little bit from this. Um, I said the rain's kind of starting to come down a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up and make sure I get this graded to where it'll drain. Hopefully I'll be able to work tomorrow. Thanks.